Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos. I'm here in Valletta, Malta, and I'm going to my grocery store, which is right here behind me. This is the newest and nicest and uh, the biggest um, market here in Valletta. So I'll take you inside and I'll show you the prices, the, the items and what they have and all that kind of stuff, and you can see what you think. So you know if you're coming to Malta, what you're gonna be spending. Thanks everybody, bye-bye. All right, this is my place, and I don't know the name of this grocery store, but uh, food market, there we go. Oh, so no, I'm sorry. The food market is this top level and they have lots of stops. But this place down here is food market. Maybe this is the sub level or level zero. But I'll take you in and show you around. Joseph works here and I'm hoping I can interview Joseph too. More Joseph. Okay, so you start off and they have the alcohol section. And so let's just go over and get some basic prices on what things cost. 24, 38, 44. So like if you like Jack Daniels, it's 25, 65 euros. And you have to remember everything's in euros. So for every dollar, add another quarter. Or for every five dollars, add a dollar. So like if you like vodka, this one's 1080 for that little bottle of vodka. So 1080 would really be about 12, maybe 13 American dollars for that one. For absolute, it's 14. No, no, that's not it. No, they don't have a price for absolute. But like Grey Goose, 44.99. So you have to imagine that that's probably going to be really 55 dollars probably. And they have wine and stuff like that too. Um, so this one's 450 for this little bottle here. 450 and it's on sale. 503. And these are their cheap ones. But, but some of them are still, you know, $16. When you get over to this side, things start getting crazy expensive. So $251 for that bottle. That one's 28, 104, 60. So 104 dollars. It, it's going to cost you probably. In reality, it's probably like 120, 125 American for that bottle. Um, and they have cold beer. I've told you this in previous videos. <laughs> if you buy a beer and it's cold, it's more expensive than you buying it hot because they have to refrigerate it. So here it's 99 cents. If you get it on the cold shelf, it's like 85 cents. So you're paying 15 cents for, <laughs> for them to make it cold for you. Um, the other thing is anything they make here is cheaper. So like Oreos, for a little box of Oreos is $4.69. So that's what, like maybe $3.50-ish, $3.20, $3.30, somewhere in there. Um, and some things get really crazy. You know, like their digestives, these are like, these are made close to here so they're not bad 99 cents for that roll and they're not really a cookie it's a digestive cookie um, I try to pick things that Americans know so that you can um, have something to compare to now fruit and vegetables are over the top let me show you why so here's apples and this is four dollars and fifty cents a kilo so maybe Three apples is four fifty, so that's really five, five bucks, five twenty-five, and they're all about the same. So strawberries are four euros, so that's five. Kiwis are forty cents each, so maybe fifty cents. Again, it's all an island, so it's really hard to tell. Avocados are dollar fifty-five each for the not ripe ones. For the ripe ones, they're two bucks, so there's two euros, so that's really. You know what, 250 each. So it can get pretty, pretty outrageous. Um, like more than you'd ever want to know. Eggs? Is there a price on those eggs? I don't see a price on the eggs. Mint, dollar eighty-five. Apples. I find the vegetables to be pretty crazy. So a dollar thirty, and I, I don't know if that's each or not on those it doesn't say a kilo. P 
peas are 285. Like I found lettuce to be kind of outrageous. Yeah, so for a head of lettuce, it's $1.95 euro. So that's two, probably 250 for a head of lettuce. A head of cabbage is probably gonna be 325. Um, how about a, a, <laughs> a, a garlic? 550. How about ginger? 850. 850. <laughs> Do I have to say that again? 850. An onion is 250. You see the 250? That's what you get for that. Potatoes, $1.28. So, certainly uh, more outrageous than I, I can even begin to imagine. So, cereal. So like there's Frosted Flakes Kellogg's, it's four bucks. So it's $5 for a, a box of, and this is a small box. It's not even crazy. Rice Krispies, four fifty-five. dollars How about Cheerios? That's probably four twenty-five a box. Oatmeal gets really expensive too. Two seventy-nine dollars for oatmeal. Yeah, so things can get expensive. How about a can of pineapples? Two bucks, so that's two fifty probably. What else is there? Nutella, four twenty or four forty five, so five bucks. How about a thing of jam? Two forty five, so you're probably three bucks for a little little thing of jam. And that's tiny in my book. Um, Yeah, let's see what else. Oh, crackers. So this is a little thing of crackers. And it's a dollar twelve. It's not too bad. Ritz crackers. Oh no, those are the kettle ones. A little bag. There's no price on the Ritz. Oh, a little tiny bag, a, a box of Ritz. And we're talking tiny. I mean, that's like my hand. So that's two bucks. So two fifty. Um, cream crackers. I don't know what those are. So milk, milk isn't too bad. It's 92 cents for that. If you want vitamin milk with vitamin D, it's a dollar five. But that's with this size. We're talking uh, crazy for a yogurt. Dollar. Well, it's 2.39 for a yogurt. Um, 50 cents for one of these little itty bitty tiny. I mean, that's like nothing. Um, Greek yogurt, $1.85. Probably $35. And again, I look for brands that you might know, but I don't see much that you know. Uh, no prices on soda. Chips are a different brand. Meat is really good too. So fresh milk, $19.99 a kilo. Kilo. 48.95 for a fillet. Yes, sir. Just looking. Thank you. Why is it that you're taking the prices? Oh, just for America, just so they could see. So that because I, I couldn't find. I'm from America, so I couldn't find the prices. So I was. I'm just trying to show people how much it costs, so that they know. The fillet is wonderful. You know, it's it's perfect. It's just more expensive than I knew. So he's going to call somebody and tell them that I'm doing videos. But this is, uh, this is their stuff. And like salami and stuff, 97 cents salami. And that's a little package of salami. I mean, it's pretty thin, you can even see through it on some level. That's two bucks. Three or two for a couple wings for one hamburger patty. $2.98. The cheeses get pretty expensive too. There's Gouda for $30. Um, toilet paper. $4.27 for 
couple of rolls, 12 rolls. And it's not even good stuff, 427. So it's expensive. Um, let's, oh, soda. So one soda is $1.15 for a little soda. Um, so $1.15 is probably $1.25, $1.35. Um, let's see. How about Baby Bell cheeses? We all know what those cost. For a little bag of what, six of them, three fifteen. So, and like little packages of cheeses, two o three for you know maybe five slices. Two twenty seven. So Philadelphia cream cheese is four bucks. Two tubs at four, so that's five euros for, for the package. Let's see, what else can I show you? You know, soy sauce, if it's off brand, is $1.34, which is probably the cheapest I've ever seen it anywhere, <laughs> which is good. But when you get to like ketchup and stuff like that, it gets crazy. So like, let's see, what's it? Here's their like pasta sauce. So just, a, and these are small. This isn't one of our American big uh, jars of, uh, you know, Progresso. And this is 215. So maybe 250, 260 for a little bottle. Um, even for the little itty bitty tiny stuff. I mean, this is smaller than my hand. And that's 215. Um, and that's just pasta sauce, I don't know. Hi Joseph. Hello. So rice, rice is $2.29 for a basadami rice. If you want Mexican, it's $2.29. Uncle Ben's. Pasta. Like, let's say if you bought a thing of pasta, what does pasta usually cost us? So for us in America, this is probably what, 79 cents for a little thing of pasta? And it's 75 cents. So it's really not bad that way. Um, 99 cents for like the top of the name brand kind of stuff. But Top Ramen is one package is 67 cents, which can be kind of expensive. Red is really pretty cheap. You know, I think it's like 75 cents, 73 cents. And this is what I bought, and it's really good. Um, 73 cents for a, like, it's like a half a loaf, but it's fresh made bread. If you want one of these big ones, I don't know how much they go for. Oh, so uh, sliced bread is $1.90. So this one right here is $1.90. So what, two twenty-five, two fifty for a loaf of bread for the generic stuff? So ketchup, I think I've showed you this before. 407 for ketchup. Barbecue sauce, 223. Mayonnaise and mustard. So for a small mayonnaise, it's two, $2.99, so three, three fifty, four bucks. You don't even wanna know what tortillas cost. So here's a package of tortillas, maybe 10 of them. 341 for tortillas. Oil's expensive too, $2.99, $2.45. That's the cheap stuff. If you get into olive oil, you're, you might have to cut your leg off. Um, gosh, what else? For all those that live in Australia, Martamite, or I think that's their equivalent, $3.95. Coffee can get the same way. 575, but you know, coffee's pretty expensive. Just about anywhere you go, I think. Tea's expensive too for some reason. 337. Tetley is like uh, 350. If you get undeca or decaffeinated, it's like four something. Um, your women's products um, for the super absorbent overload, it's 220. Um, 394. So always, everybody buys always, right? That's 505 for a 10 pack. I don't know. 
you know, I, they use them to absorb oil in the driveway too. So I don't, we're not going there. Um, <laughs> grocery store stuff, 30 of them. But that's standard. America's the same way. It can get pretty crazy. But I, you know, toilet paper, 520. Roll of paper towels. What else? Candy bars aren't too bad. Starburst, 55 cents, that ain't bad. You can see the prices. And then for the good stuff, the stuff that I love, which I'm gonna buy, that's like a $1.25, $1.60, whatever. And that's it. And then for like name brand chips, you might as well throw yourself off a bridge. $3.25, and these are a little bad. These are gonna be and that's three twenty-five. dollars So, and for a candy bar, $4.07, $4.27. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, $1.49. That's pretty much accurate for what America is, too, isn't it? Well, $2.24 for a wrist crunch. That's kind of expensive. Anyway, this is grocery shopping for you in America, in uh, Valata. Pretty amazing. Okay, everybody. Thanks for coming along. Bye.